Okay. Dearly beloved, family, friends, little monsters, <laughs> folks, wait staff, and random customers of this amazeball Denny's, we are gathered here today to witness the giving and receiving of marriage vows between the handsomely perverse Betty Shapiro and the ever so lovely tyrant with Tourette, Audrey McFarlane. <laughs> According to them, the most unlikely human beings on the planet to ever get married. And yet, they have somehow found their match. What mystical, magical powers that be were able to pull these two crazy souls into the same universal love field? A chance meeting at a dinner party? A mutual friend hookup? No? Oh, wait. Hang on. <clears throat> hello, hello, baby. Can't hear a thing, and I have got no service in this jet to Denny's. What, what, what did you say? Oh, you're breaking up on me. They met on the internet. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Sorry, I cannot help it. That's kind of crazy. And see. <laughs> Oh yes, not only did they meet on the internet, dating site, OkCupid, but Audrey was only on the site for two weeks before Benny sunk his monster paw right into her profile. <laughs> Whether it would be a bad romance or not, that's hot. All they can say is being specific was the ticket. There was no holding back with these two. Honestly, honesty goes a long freaking way. <clears throat> Be willing to put all your faults on display. They gravitated towards the beautiful imperfections that made them both perfect in each other's perceptions. They already get what love truly means. It's patient and kind, but it's also messy and obscene. <laughs> There's no sellout or buyout or taking one for the team. These people mean business, they don't fear the unclean. So here's to the journey that you thought never, and remember to orgasmically live, love, cry, laugh, and bleed together forever. Okay, face each other, tell hands if you like, grab each other, whatever makes you cry. <laughs> Benny, do you take Audrey to be your lofty wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in the puking of rainbow good times, and the releasing of the crack and bad, <laughs> promising you will never stop go-go dancing for her to Beyonce's Who Runs the World, and solemnly swearing that if for any reason things do not work out, you will kill her quickly and from behind. <laughs> if so, answer, hell to the act. Hell to the air. <laughs> Audrey, darling, do you take Benny to be your lofty wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in the puking of rainbow good times, and the releasing of the cracking bad, promising never to stop Benny from go-go dancing, to Beyonce's Who Runs the World, and solemnly swearing that if for any reason things do not work out, you will kill him quickly and from behind. If so, answer, hell to the end. <laughs> if, wait, there is anyone present who may show just and lawful cause why this couple shouldn't be married, I say, screw you. <laughs> Don't rain on their parade, you selfish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the blessing. Audrey had told me that she comes from Scottish heritage. In a traditional Scottish wedding, they'll lay a piece of fabric, I believe the plaid, the color of that family, over the couple's wrists or hands to do the blessing. We don't have any plaid material, but what I do have are some frogs for my favorite. So we're going to go ahead and lay the frogs. All right. There ain't a reason you and her should be alone tonight, yeah, baby. But I got a reason that you 
should take him home tonight. She needs a man who thinks it's right when it's so wrong. Tonight, yeah, baby. Right on the limits where you both you don't belong tonight. And it's hard to push to brush the danger of us. And she's gonna run right to, to the edge where you can both fall. Out on the edge of glory, and she's holding on this moment with you. You're on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge.